So I'm creating a new EP, which is going to serve as a bridge between the older stuff I did and the new stuff that I'll create in the future. And one of the ways this is being bridged is I'm creating a song using an old riff from back in Renoise 1.9. And this was just copied and pasted into newer Renoise. And it didn't sound quite right with regard to the effect commands. It took me a little while to figure out what it was. When you load an old song into newer Renoise, it will automatically adapt it and make sure that the older way of doing tempo still works in the newer version of Renoise. And you can go to the Song Options panel and there will be a button there which will upgrade it to any newer settings if you want to use it that way as well. But you'll notice that the old speed setting, which comes from the old Amiga days, it will still translate that towards the new ticks per line setting. So if you had a speed of 6, then the TPL will still be 6. Now, what I did was actually copy and paste the notes and the effect commands directly into the new Renoise. Newer versions of Renoise use a TPL of 12. So in order to get things sounding the same here as they did back in Renoise 1.9, you have to actually double the values for certain effect commands that make use of ticks. And that's a C, cut, R, retrigger, and although I don't use it, also the Q, delay command. Perhaps not that interesting on its own, but it did remind me of certain issues that I had to deal with when I'm creating sounds via rapidly cycling sample loops. And those are issues I'm going to have to continue dealing with if I'm going to continue generating sounds via those methods. So, let's have a look at what they are. The combination of really fast sample looping and the lo-fi mat effect, it always generated sounds in a slightly unreliable way. It never played exactly the same way each time, but for most notes, it was absolutely fine. Things wouldn't be exact, but good enough for most playthroughs of a song. However, certain notes, they were really unstable. There was just some combination of the sample loop and the rate that was just sort of whack that they would constantly desync. And every time you play the song, you would get a different version of the sound. And one of those notes that is so unstable is part of this riff that I'm trying to bring forward. So I had to make a hard choice. I had to resample it. That is, just record the best take of it and then use that instead of organically generating it like I do with the rest of the sounds. Not something I want to do, but it's just what's necessary. Otherwise, it'll play good about maybe 10% of the time, the rest of the time it sounds rubbish. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is also the case for the way I was generating sounds for a demo of a song I released last year. It uses really fast sample looping in combination with the decimation effect. I initially thought the problem was with the LFO and repeater combination, but that didn't make any sense because the actual rate that runs through, it's not really fast enough, and testing proved that. It's basically the same problem as with the lo-fi mat. Any combination of really fast sample loops with another effect that uses a really fast rate, it's not going to always be that stable. And this is because of the sample rate that you set in the audio settings. This is the amount of really small sound chunks that are created every second. And so if you have some interactions between two things that are running really fast and they don't always interact in exactly the same way, then you're going to get this kind of instability.
And there's nothing that you can really do about that. And this relates to another problem that I found back in Renoise 1.9. And, oh, I mean, look at that theme. That's great. Anyway, the sample rate that you already selected and then built your riffs upon, you have to keep using that. If you switch to something else, then the riff that you play back, and the entire song if you built it upon that as well, is going to sound totally different at different sample rates. Which is also a problem for the final example. If an effect, such as the lo-fi mat, had been upgraded and improved in a newer version of Renoise, such as it had been between 1.9 and 2.0, then, even though it sounds not massively different normally, when you have these combinations interacting, then it does sound quite different. And that's why I stayed on Renoise 1.9 for the entirety of the previous EP, because the newer lo-fi mat just did not sound the same. 